So the agentic browser Comet is now available on Android. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can download, install and use this browser on your phone. And perhaps I'll share my opinion about why I'm not going to be using this browser, at least at the current state. So let me show you how you can install this browser on your phone. Now let's open an Android phone and then you can navigate to Google Play Store. And after that, you can type search and then type using the keyword comment, something like this. And then make sure that you are selecting the one that is from Perplexity AI. And then if you haven't downloaded the file, you, you can click install. And then after that, you can tap open and you'll see an onboarding process that look like this. So it's kind of fancy and I do really like the aesthetic of the comment and perhaps perplexity in general. It looks really pleasing and it looks really good. Now I'm going to just slide to get started. And these are some examples that you can do in theory with the comment browser. You can just type the instruction. You can also just say it if you don't want to type, you can you know, use the voice mode and then AI will do something based on your input. Now I'll just tap continue and you have to log in with your perplexity account. So I guess I'll just skip a word and show you the next step. All right, so I have logged in to my perplexity account and of course, perplexity is going to ask you to set the browser as your default browser on the device, but I'm not going to do it. So I'll just do it later. And there you go. So this is what the browser look like. And I guess before I'm showing you how to use it, I'll just introduce to you a few features or a few menus that are available at least on, on this screen. So on the top left corner, you can tap your profile picture and then you can navigate to some browser settings and information like history, bookmarks, etc. And I guess I'll use a dark mode for the rest of this video. I think it looks better. Right. Now, uh, if you click this option, it will give you some widgets that you can insert into a new tab, but I'm not going to use it. And here you can open the bookmark, history, library, etc. And also, sorry about that, you can open a new tab. Now, I don't like this animation style. It's kind of not giving any clue that you just tap or created a new tab. So it's there's no clue that you, you don't know how many tabs you have. But you can click this and you will see all the tabs that were open on the browser. And also you can close them. You can also navigate your incognito mode in case you want to browse without storing historical information. Now, after that, I guess we have talked a lot about the basic of this browser. Now, I guess I'll just show you how this agentic browser actually perform. So I'll try a simple task like I guess I'm going to be using the voice mode because I'm too lazy to type. Hey, can you please navigate to the Verge homepage? The PDC homepage is now open. Let me know if you'd like a summary of what's on it. Uh, well, actually, I want to navigate to the Verge homepage. One moment. Here are some of the top stories on the PDC homepage. No, 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 no. I want you to navigate to the cargo plane crash crap okay that's kind of weird okay let me just open a new tab hey can you navigate to the verge.com hey can you navigate to the verge.com Well, I'm still waiting. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but I guess I'm going to be using this method instead. All right, that's Google keyboard. Hey, can you navigate to the forge.com? Uh, not the florida.com. I guess I have to type it manually. I gotta hate this experience. Okay, let me send. Uh, let's select this option. It is using perplexity as the default search engine, and that's kind of slow. I mean, I can just open the search manually if I want to, and for whatever reason, I don't see anything. So 
it's kind of glitchy, it's buggy, and I would say it's not quite ready to be released to the public. But I guess it is just me, so let me just open another tab, and hopefully this one will be different. Hey, can you navigate to the official... Sure, let me in the session now. Um, no, 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 I, I was asking you to navigate to the official website of OpenAI. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hey, can you navigate to the official website of OpenAI? Ich habe die OpenAI Website gesucht. Du kannst dir jetzt direkt anschauen. Wenn du noch etwas Bestimmtes suchst oder Hilfe beim Navigieren brauchst, ah, sag why? mir Bescheid. Can you just speak in English? Can you speak in English? Sure. The OpenAI Website shows several main sections. Okay, okay. Uh, now, can you navigate? Can you navigate? The research and visiting the Sora platform. You'll also see highlights like the introduction of ChatGPT Atlas. Okay, can you navigate? About GPT okay, that wasn't a great experience. I actually have tried this several times before I'm recording this video, and I can tell you the experience looked like that. And by the way, I used different phones before, and overall, they're not very usable. I think this app is not quite ready, at least again at the moment. But if you're interested, you can give it a try. You can open Play Store and then download the Comet browser on your phone and maybe you will have a much better situation so the Comet browser can be somewhat more useful than what I experienced right now. So yeah, that's essentially how you can download, install and use the Comet browser on your Android phone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.